Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is a very, very, very different setting. If you see something messy in the background, just ignore it. As you can see, this is a hotel room and I am traveling, but I quickly want to come here and show you guys what I packed for my vacation. And this is just lipstick. So this is gonna be a super quick video. But before we kick off, I want to share you share with you the reasoning behind picking these particular products. It's the temperature, it's global warming. There's been so much heat, especially the weeks I've been traveling. It's been so hot. And I did not want to pack any traditional lipsticks that would melt because I love my Lisa Elridge lipsticks and uh, no, <laughs> they're expensive as well. So I kept them safe at home. Uh, for the fall and the winter and I picked out just just some amazing products as well so let's start with skincare because my friends I have not been I have not skipped lip balm under lipstick for at least three years and I have I have to say I've seen a drastic difference on my lips and the skin around my lips as well so do not ever put on lipstick or lip gloss without lip balm underneath, especially during the daytime. You need an, an SPF lip balm and mine is a Jack Black's uh, Intense Lip Therapy. And this is a lower SPF, SPF 25, but still is sufficient. I think FDA says that sh should have at least a minimum of SPF 20, right? At this time or 25, I'm not sure, but this is definitely sufficient. This is 25. And also, this is incredibly moisturizing, so you you will benefit from this so much, so much, I promise you. And so there's that. And for my regular non-SPF lip balm is La Roche Posay's Cicaplast Balm Barrier Barrier Repairing Balm. This has pantenol five percent, and also it also has lipids. Uh, and this is made in France. It's 7.5 milliliters. This is around $10, I think, 10 or $15, somewhere in that price range. This really produces results, my friends. Really, it softens the lips and it really nourishes it and really helps it a lot. So those two are my skincare uh, for the lip that I packed. Okay. Let's talk about lip glosses. And these three have really impressed me a lot. All three are from Pat McGrath. And I know she hasn't released these mini lip glosses in a while. So these are from a few years. But I, they kind of slept in my uh, lipstick tower. You know, those rotating uh, lipstick storage tower thingies. And I kind of forgot about them. Um, but I really wanted to pick out some beautiful colors and these are the three ones I picked. I know um, bronze, this is bronze temptation and this is uh, flesh six. These look so similar, but bronze temptation is more lighter and more peachier and flesh six is actually a flesh toned color. This is very flesh toned and uh, these two shades are just phenomenal, I have to say. One is this is flesh six. Look at that. No shimmer. Flesh six is incredible. And bronze temptation is also very pretty. You see the difference? This is much true, more more true peachier than flesh six, and both are very high performing glosses, and they are so good. And this pink is so stunning. This is divine rose i think this is in the full uh permanent line this is more of a darker pink which actually looks really good on my skin tone my complexion it looks very cool tone and also gives that freshness to the lips i really like it it also has some silver shimmer in it um so yeah okay then we have I have to say, nobody talks about this. I myself discovered this uh, via Costco. I think two years ago, Costco carried this and I got this lip oil and I was floored by it. And I was, it kind of took two years because it came as trios. 
right? So it kind of took two years for me to go through those trios uh, because I also had this love relationship, intense love relationship, Tower 28 uh, lip jellies going on, which is still ongoing. Uh, but for the trip, I wanted to use something different at the same time, amazing. So that's why I got these these glasses and glowiest is insane i can't i cannot explain the insanity of this stunning beautiful glass lip lip oil okay this is a lip oil this is what i have on my lips and this is in the shade red cherry okay these are very sheer so if you have darker tinted lips you just pick one honestly you just pick one and that should be all right but if you have like lighter uh tinted lips where even the sheer sheerest of colors would look different on you then you can go for other colors but these are available on amazon that's where i replenished mine after using all the three lip lip oils that came in that costco lip trios so this is red cherry this is more i know this looks so dark here for some reason but not so much once it shears down i think you can see a light tint on the lips this is one of the darker colors my friends so you so in my on my dark brown lips if this shows up so much then you kind of you can get an idea of what this might look like and insane insane glossy glassy high shine effect and at the same time so comfortable even after the gloss and the shine kind of wears down, um, the comfort level is just superior. So crazy. Okay, this lipstick I had to bring along because I wanted one bright color. If I wanted to wear a bright lipstick, I wanted to be like red. And this lipstick by Byredo is just insanity. Just insanity. And this is called Red Coma. This red should be illegal my friends this crazy crazy just this amount of saturation <laughs> i have not seen in a red this amount of saturation i have really not seen tell me tell me have you seen any red that looks so vibrant but i say i mean i guess you could call it like an orange leaning red but still it's not too too orangey just insane i do like to wear this over a very light layer of lip uh balm that way it like lasts longer no well sorry what am i saying it doesn't last longer does that way it doesn't dry out my lips after like say two to three hours because after that it does and the lasting power is also really good or you can just put in the lightest amount and put a lip gloss over it and still it's gonna be good so those are the lip choices that i brought on this trip and i have to say they all satisfied any kind of eye look i did my friends so yep so i hope oh i'm sorry uh so i hope you guys enjoyed this video what do you think of my choices i think this covers pretty much every kind of look that i, I could go for so yeah and i'll see you guys very soon bye